Hey, we're going to play Bicycle Built for Two, which is on page 24 of your book. So it's number 52. Um, let's take a look first at the key signature. We've got one sharp. So, and it's F sharp. So if you remember when we have one sharp, we're in G major. So we're going to be playing F sharp, high two on our D string and C natural, low two on our A strings. And this is in six eight time, like a lot of the songs we've been playing recently. So six eighth notes in a measure. And those dotted quarter notes that we see at the beginning, each one of those has equal to three eighth notes. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are a lot of slurs in this song. So anytime we see a slur, we know all the notes in that slur are connected by the slur are played with one bow stroke. So in the fourth measure, sorry, third measure, we get one, two, three, four, five, six. Notice how I just did. Down, up. And then we also have a lot of ties, which is basically just a slur between two notes that are the same. And the tie just makes a longer note. So in the fourth measure, one, two, three, four, five, rest. That note, that D that's tied is actually five beats long because it's got a dotted quarter note, one, two, three beats, three eighth note beats, and then a quarter note, which is two eighth note beats. And then one eighth note rest, which equals six beats. Because we're in six eight. So I'm going to play through the song, and then I'll hit a couple of potential problem spots. Um, I, would, I would recommend watching me play through this song once and watch my bow. And notice how many measures there are in this song where my bow just plays one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Most of the measures in this song, I'm bowing down bow on one, two, three, and up bow on four, five, six. And there's a few that are different. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, So a couple of problem measures in this song are going to be starting with measure 10. So if you go to the second line, the last measure is 11, and the one before that is measure 10. We've got an A eighth note with a slur mark connected to two quarter note Gs, which are tied together. So let's look at those quarter note Gs. If it's two quarter notes tied together, here we've got two eighth notes in the first one and two eighth notes in the second one. So that's going to be four eighth note beats in one G. And before that we have one A eighth note beat. So one and the A, and then we're going to go over to the G. Here, I'm going to do this separately first without the slur, but with the tie. So one, two, three, four, five. So on beat, beat one is the A, and then two, three, four, five are the four eighth note beats for the G. 
So with the slur, I'm not going to stop my bow. I'm just going to cross strings. And it really helps here to do a finger tunnel with your third finger on the D string so that it's ready when you want to cross the string. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you've got your third finger down with that finger tunnel, all you have to do is cross your string over to that D string in time. We have the same rhythm in measure 12 without a string crossing. So we've got an E eighth note, one, and then D is two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here's measure 10 again. One, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here's measure 12 again. One, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to back up um, one measure before measure 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'll go from measure five. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one. So in context, that's how that rhythm sounds um, with the rest of the rhythms in the song. I'll play it one more time through a little slower, but without counting, so you can play along. One, two, three, one, ready, go. And again, if you need to, take as much time as you want to work through those notes, note by note, and then you can come back and watch the video to integrate the rhythms and the bowings.